You don't always see a team that sets the seeds for two future franchises, but the Atlanta Flames did just that. Being created in 1971 and starting play in 1972, the Flames, along with the New York Islanders, were created because of the NHL's intense rivalry with the newly created World Hockey Association. Wanting to tap into the American South first, an Atlanta franchise was awarded. The team was named in homage of the burning of Atlanta that took place during the American Civil War and their logo was designed as such. Compared to other defunct franchises, the Flames did pretty well for playoff appearances. Out of the 8 seasons that they existed in Atlanta, they had made the playoffs 6 times, but like other defunct franchises, they didn't do much in the playoffs once they were in there. The Flames never won a playoff series and only won 2 playoff games in their history in Atlanta. This stagnation by the team caused their attendance to decline over the years, and because of that, the owner of the Flames was forced to sell the team as he couldn't handle any more financial loss. And so, in 1980, after their last playoff game, the Atlanta Flames were bought by an ownership group in Calgary. The Calgary team decided to keep the name Flames as well as the jerseys, and currently the Calgary Flames also pay homage to the Atlanta Flames by using the Atlanta logo as their alternate captain logos. Although short-lived, the Atlanta Flames never won their division, but they did have players win the Calder Trophy for the league's top rookie, as well as having another player win the Lady Bing Trophy for being the most gentlemanly player. Although the Atlanta Flames failed financially, they gave birth to the Calgary Flames, a staple in the hockey world today, as well as set up a return to the city of Atlanta with the Thrashers. And that pretty quickly sums up the Flames franchise. I hope you liked the video, and I'll see you in the next one.